Well, what a sad occasion this is for Small Talk this week. It's the last Small Talk for 2012. We're down in the southwest of Sydney. I'm at Mount Annan, which is near Campbelltown. I'm here with the Mount Annan Knights. I think the under 11s who lost their grand final, unfortunately, on the weekend. But we're going to talk about happy things. We'll talk about the future of rugby league and who's going to win the competition this year. You ready to have a chat, boys? Yeah! Come on, let's go. Who do you think is going to win the comp this year? There's only four teams left. Let's start along here. We'll start with you, mate. Who do you like? Bulldogs. Bulldogs, yeah. Good choice, mate. Champion? Manly. Manly? Doggies. Doggies? Bunnies. Bunnies? Go the bunnies. Bunnies. No one thinks Melbourne can win the competition. No. No. So what, what do you think, mate? You got your hand up. What do you think about Melbourne? Um, because they wear purple. <laughs> no good. Boys hey, what about your hairstyle? <laughs> So I'm just having a look at your hairstyle, is it? Is your hair longer on one side than the other? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here, yeah. Yeah. You think it looks good? Do you, do you like it? Yeah. Or what do you reckon your best attribute is as a young man? Say to women, what? To women, when they look at you, what do you think that, that it would attract? <laughs> <laughs> it's eyes. Um, I don't know. Well, eyes. with me, it's my eyes. <laughs> oh, it's always been about the eyes with me. What about the moustache? <laughs> no, a moustache. That moustache is stylish. Stylish? Yeah, you should comb it. Anyone else think it looks good? My, I do comb it. The hair looks good. The hair looks good? Yeah, yeah it's got the feet. Getting a bit grey, that's a bit of a distinguished look. As you get older, you'll understand that. <laughs> yeah, and chicks love it. I mean, but I do think it's my eyes. Once again, I'll just look at the camera. Look. <laughs> the moustache doesn't match your eyes. Yeah. What, how, what do you mean it doesn't match my eyes? What do you say? The colours don't match. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's grey, grey and that's like a brown. brown. Yeah, well, what do you want me eyes to go grey? <laughs> oh, your hair goes grey, but your eyes don't go grey. Yeah. You know, in the old days when I was a bit younger and fitter, geez, I was a striking young man. Did you have a moustache? You always had, I had a moustache since I was about 17. Oh, oh. did your hairstyle change? Um, yeah, I had longer hair when I was younger, but now as I'm older, I and I don't really care what I look like, that's obvious. It's the feet over there, the triangle there, and then it goes there, and then, or oh, there's bold. You like that? Oh, it looks good. And you know what, I haven't even tried. It's just natural. <laughs> Anyone think it looks stupid? It looks like M for Maccas. M for McDonald's. I might be sponsored by him, you never know. What do you think, Kathy? Um, does your wife still love you? <laughs> Very personal question from you. I think you need to ask her that. Look, I think as I've got richer, she'd love me more. Is that the key to life? Like, to women being rich? <laughs> Mate, it's a, it's a good question. I don't want to denigrate women, but I think it's an, attract, it's an attraction to them. Like, put it this way. If you had a really good looking bloke with no money, and a very average looking bloke with plenty of money, let me ask you, who would you go for? Yes, Mason. Wouldn't the really good looking guy, what if you become a male model, male model and made lots of money? Well, that's a good point you make. I am a male model. <laughs> I do a lot of stuff for Lowe's, as you know, which is... I've been doing that for 12, 13 years now. What do you reckon when you're married, and this I'm always interested in this, when you're married with your wife, like one girl, for the whole rest of your life, will that be, is that something you look forward to or not? No, it'd be annoying. <laughs> Castling you a lot. <laughs> what about on a honeymoon? Why is a honeymoon such a big deal, do you think, when you get married? Because it's special. Why? Other countries? To kiss. <laughs> Who said that? You said that. You go on a honeymoon to kiss. Can't you kiss, like, before you get married? Yeah, but some... Well, you're by yourself, so you get to kiss more. <laughs> oh, okay. But where would you go for your honeymoon? Where's the ideal place to get away from everyone and just the two of you together, little romance? France. France, oh, romantic. What would you do in France? Um, eat spaghetti bowl and eat together. <laughs> or and do the little <laughs> and, do the, and do the thing where you suck the same oh. spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> like if you are both sucking on the noodle and then it's like, <laughs> um, <laughs> if like, You've both got half the new. Where does one go? Do they have to like split it? When your lips meet, you do this. Ah. 
Oh. So you kiss me while you put like noodles in your mouth. So you like, eating? You, you kiss a girl and you're eating a noodle. So it's like oh. <laughs> Not a girl. It's your wife. Remember, doesn't matter if you slobber all over it. <laughs> It's a bit too far. Well, there we have it, our last small talk for 2012. Thanks very much to the Mount Anna Knights here and to all the clubs that were involved in it this year. We've had a fantastic season. I've loved my time. I hope the boys have enjoyed it. But more importantly, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll be back next year. See you then.